standing, if you can stand, dear Lord, our eternal heavenly Father. If you can't stand, just raise your hand and we're going to pray, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we come before you as humbly as we know how. God, we thank you for another day. We thank you for eyes to see. We thank you for ears to hear, legs to walk and tongue to talk. We don't take it for granted. Somebody is at Mim's funeral home right now. Somebody is at March funeral home right now. Somebody at Lightfoot. Somebody over at Child's making arrangements because their loved one did not wake up. And we sit here and we come out here to give you the glory. We come out here to give you all the glory. We lift our hands and we can't say a word. We just wave our hand. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God up in this place. It ain't a whole lot of folk. It don't take a whole lot of folk. It just take two or three. And we meet the minimum requirement. We come out here to give you some church. We come back to give you a little of what you gave us. We come to preach the word. We come to sing a few songs. And we will go on out of here and go on another way, God. While we got another week, this is a new day of a new week. Amen. We're starting a new week and we need a new refreshing. We need a new anointing. We need to hear from you today. Let Bishop decrease. Let you increase. Say what you want to say. Do what you want to do. In Jesus' mighty name. If there's anything we fail to do today. Any I's we didn't dot, any critiques we didn't cross. Look, God, bring it to our attention so we can do what we need to do and our soul won't be lost. We ask these things in your matchless, marvelous, magnanimous name. We do pray. And the redeemed of the Lord says, Amen, Amen, Amen. As you take your seat, Amen. You can't make me doubt Him. You can't make me doubt Him. You can't make me doubt Him. In my heart, you can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. Come on now, I feel the fire burning. I feel the fire burning. I feel the fire burning in my heart. Oh Lord, I feel the fire burning. Feel the fire burning. Feel the fire burning in my heart. Oh, you can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him. Come on now. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. You can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. 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 We do a scripture run. Amen. Scripture run is just you take a scripture verse that you know by heart. Amen. If you're quick enough to flip to one, you can do it that way. We'll let you cheat this Sunday. But when we do scripture run right after we do our little praise and invocation, so you just quote something that you know, quote it like you wrote it, not like you told it. Amen. And my favorite is Hebrews 2 and 1. You ought to give the most earnest heed to the things that you have heard, least at any time. Come on, somebody. You should let them slip. Come on, somebody else. Give me a scripture verse. Come on. Go ahead. Challenge him, and he shall direct their paths. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. All right, come Amen. On, come on, come on. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 23. Come on. Amen. 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 Amen.
and another one bites the dust. I'm gonna do that one more time in Jesus' name. You just, she just messed the devil up. I, I, y'all know I flow very prophetically, and I want to say something. I just want to let you know this is not an ordinary church. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. You, you, you understand? You didn't walk into an ordinary church. And I'm not no ordinary preacher. You're not going to go nowhere else in Richmond and find no Negro my size, my color, my shade with a bun on the back of his head talking about Jesus. You go on and try. When you find him, you come back and see me. Take a picture first because I want to see that man. Amen. Amen. I'm just being real. So if you didn't catch it when you came here, now you got it from the horse's mouth himself. Amen. This ain't no ordinary church. This ain't no ordinary service. And we do not serve an ordinary God. Can I get an amen? amen. We serve an extra ordinary. I wish I had somebody to stand up on their hip, put their hand on their hip, and let their backbone slip and say, I am an extra ordinary person. All right now. You feel better now? Amen. And this is going to be an extraordinary week. I feel like crying because it feels so good. This is going to be an extraordinary week. I declare the devil done had his time. He done tore up my finances. He done messed with my children. He done got all in the job. But I decree today, anybody else feel like being a prophet? That it's going to be an extraordinary week. COVID-19 if you want to, but I'm going to have an extraordinary week. Feel like going right on and preaching right now. And I, the, the Delta variant can do what it wanna, but I decree an extraordinary week. Good God Almighty! Y'all ought to be glad I ain't got no musician up in here. Oh Jesus! My money is funny, my change is strange, but I decree an extraordinary week. Sometimes you gotta look at your situation. Sometimes you got to tell your situation, you got to do better than this. You got to do something about this right here. Lord, I serve you with my whole heart. I need you to fix that right here. See, if you live right, heaven belongs to you. God said you can even talk to the angels and they will do what you command according to the word of God if you live right. Come on, somebody. So you can speak to the situation and say, ah, 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 no, 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 no. I do at school. Amen. I don't know why this thing keep hanging, but it's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Listen. That's all right. Yeah. If I was at school, my teacher, my, my, my principal would tell you, I come in there with a commanding presence. When I walk in the cafeteria and they up in there cutting the food, I just walk up in there and say, hey! hey. Come on, Everything. I believe the roach be on the floor. Like, <laughs> I don't see nothing there. Everything up in there. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sometimes you have to speak yes. to your unnatural situation yes, and call for natural behavior. Yes. You have to speak sometimes. Your spouse be acting unnatural. And you gotta look at that spouse and you gotta say, come on. Come on. Sometimes, oftentimes, you better learn how to put some Jesus in your jaw bone. You better learn how to suck on it like ginger root and like black root and you need to learn how to spit it out and say I've not had about enough of that right here. Anybody in here today feel like that? I done been through enough. I done seen enough. I done heard enough. I done had enough. Today is the day where I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. I wish I had a little piece of paper. You know how I used to put that piece of paper up in that little 45 and be skipping, you know, and skipping, you know, and skipping. And you put a little paper in there. Some of y'all ain't old enough to remember that. And then it just move on out. Anybody feel like that 45 been skipping here lately? Anybody feel like that record been skipping lately? And you just been stuck on a rut like Chuck and can't get up? Turn to James chapter 3. If y'all don't mind, I'm going to preach with you. I feel like preaching. Is that all right? Amen. I feel like preaching the word today. Y'all done stirred Bishop up. I damn, I'll come up in here ready to have church. It's some about folks that's ready to have church. Ain't got to do no whole lot of diddling and dialing around. Just go on and preach the word. Amen. Facebook Live, YouTube, glad to see you. In case nobody else has told you today, God loves you. And so do I. If y'all on my broadcast, y'all know why I just did that. Amen. Because I got some virtual sheep. You know, COVID-19 came in and 
made us go home for a while and I kept preaching the word at, at, in the morning and at night and sunset and sunrise. Probably got something like 300 sermons on there. If you need any, I ain't got the copyright. Just go and grab one. Just do whatever you want to do with it. I'll share because if it bless me, it's blessing you too, right? So if you see one you like, amen, go and get it. Go on and tell it. Amen. You might like, I might like your version better than mine. Amen. Amen. Come on now. We got to learn how to work together. I can't hold all the folks in this city in this little square right here. And with this virus going on, ain't fitting to hold all of them. Because once it fill up to them last few chairs, you be outside listening. Look at me if you want. I don't want no variant. I don't want no COVID. Amen. I want the few that God want in here when it get full. You make sure you look at me like Bishop. Wait a minute, Bishop, 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 Bishop. You're going to do that for me. Hold up. Yeah. That's my, you're going to be my head camera. Amen. When you see it get about 30, you're like, Bishop, wink at me. Amen. Y'all got to go on outside and listen in the car somewhere now. You got to be smart is what I'm saying. And I, I know I'm messing with folks when I say this, and I know I'm going to lose some friends, but mm -hmm. I love my wife. I got four children and one on the way. I got a dog and a cat, too. I ain't got no fish yet because they keep dying, but I don't know about the fish. They, I, I can keep everything else alive in that house, but fish just don't live in my house. They taste good in the grease, though. Amen. You'll catch that in a minute. So what I'm saying here, I ain't really worried about a whole lot of friends. Anybody else like that? I, I'm not, don't get me wrong. Friends are good to have. But if you've got more than a handful at this stage in your life, you need to go on and get God a praise because you're already better than me. I ain't got nothing but a handful of food. Amen. Ain't looking for but a handful of food. Because when I have a party I, at my house, amen, I don't want to be trying to go back after y'all leave and count the silverware and count the DVDs. <laughs> but we had eight plates. Seven plates? Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. This stuff don't happen at y'all house. Amen. James chapter 3. She ain't lying either. This thing right here. My sister don't play. Look, you been caught something that you been caught a sauce in the back of your head now. I'm messing with Paulette. <laughs> Amen. James chapter 3, verse 7 is where we're going to start. But I want you to understand. I want to say this before we get started. You can worship here. I don't want to exclude anybody. You can go tell somebody next week. Look, that man over there. Yeah, that man with the bun. That little man bun. I tell you now. You can go tell him, but we're only going to fill up what we have. Because that's the distance, the space, the mask. Amen. I got mine down because I'm a little further from y'all, but it's right here. It's right here. Amen. That's well it was right there, Lord. Jay, go get me another. Go in the back and get me another one. Somebody out the box. Bishop had a mask and know where it went to. And you know, as soon as I say that, everybody on, everybody on the two, he ain't got no mask. God, pray for him. Yeah, pray for me. Amen. Right after you finish talking about me, pray for me. That part. I ain't got no sense, okay? You already know. You you already know me. You Did, did you tell him before he came in here? Yeah, I ain't got no filter. I ain't got no sense. Just got the Holy Ghost. That's all I got. So you get what you get now. <laughs> Amen. We like to have fun. The Bible says laughter is like medicine. And it also says a merry heart doth like medicine. So if you can't laugh, don't come around me. Don't come around me when I'm well, and show sure up. don't come visit me in the hospital when I'm sick. Don't come up in the room. I want you to come in there and tell me a joke. I don't care if you trip over the cord and break wind. Do something. Make me laugh. I'm in the bed sick. I don't need to be sitting there all upset. You know, come on now. Got to live a little while. Let's read this thing. It says, let's do it responsibly. I'll read the first and you read the latter. We'll read 12 together. Amen. It says, first, I'm going to read, for every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed and has been tamed of mankind. Eight. Read. No can be tamed. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. I read, therewith bless we God, even with the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God together. Out of the same mouth proceeded blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not to be. I read, doth a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Can a fig tree, come on now, my brethren, bear olive berries, either a vine, 
So can no fountain both heal salt water and fresh. Come on, somebody give God a hand clap of praise for the word of God. Amen. Amen. I want you to look at your neighbor real quick. I want you to look him square in the eye and say, neighbor, neighbor. oh neighbor, neighbor. Watch, your watch your mouth, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Come on and give God a hand for you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Dear Lord, it's preaching time. Let our soul look up with a steadfast hope. Let our will be lost in thine. Lord God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. God, we come to reconcile, restoration, reconciliation, revival, refresh, renew, reboot, reset, whatever need to be done. God, do it right now in the name of Jesus. This word will not return void, but it will accomplish everything that it was sent to do. In Jesus' name, as I dis decrease, as I dissipate, as I disappear, Lord God, you come in, say what need to be said, and we're going to go on about our way and our day. In Jesus' name. Also, remembering my wife who's out traveling, Lord God, down in the mountainous areas, down in the boondocks, as they call it, for this christening of our, of our uh, godson, uh, Nehemiah. Amen. Praying for Nehemiah right now and the family as he's been set apart and dedicated to you. Hey, God, Daddy couldn't be there in the flesh, but I'm there with my wife because the Bible says we're no longer twain, we are one. So as she's down there with Rose, and I'm over here with Jaden and Nikolai and Malachi, probably somewhere at the house watching that box. But Lord God, bless all my babies. Bless, Lord God, Director of Administration for an Evangelical Services of New Millennial Ministries, none other than our very own evangelist, Stephanie D. Harris. Bless her, Lord God. Bless everyone that has come in this place. Bless her daughter today, God. So glad to see her. Lord God, we just ask you to continue to do great, wonderful things. Even my aunt that made her way out. Lord God, we thank you for the word in advance and what it was sent to do. And we say so in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Watch your mouth. Uh-huh. Check yourself. <laughs> ah, God, before you wreck yourself. Check yourself. Before you wreck yourself. I said, Lord, you want me to preach that? I said, I'm trying to get folks in the church. Last week, he told us feeling good. Man, this week, he telling to tell folks to shut up. I said, Lord, I ain't going to have nobody up in here. Lord, you got to preach these kind of messages. Amen. But I'm going to tell you what God says. I was sitting and talking to the Lord, and we were looking at this particular scripture, and God let me know that there's a situation going on in the land. we got a condition going on with mankind and people all over the place. Some kind of reason, folks seem to have this condition I like to call diarrhea of the mouth. I told you, I ain't got no filter now. Just got the Holy Ghost. Sometimes folks just open their mouth and all the ignorance just spill out. You know what I'm talking about. She's grinning behind the man like, yeah, I know I got a couple people like that right now. Matter of fact, as I said, some of y'all, the names pop right in your head, you know. Folks just don't know what to say, how to say it. Come on, somebody. Show up don't know when the right time. You be winking your eyes and clicking your head like you got Tourette, and they still just running off. And they, you don't understand what this means. Shut up. Lord have mercy. You ain't got to say everything. Good God from Zion. See, you run into two types of people in this world. I've been, once I was young and now I'm getting a little older, you know, been preaching the word for 25 years and been insane for 32 and been in the church for 37. So I got a little time on me. And I've learned that there are people that have to say something. You got some folks that just got to say something. You got those folks that have something to say. You got to know which one you are. Please be the latter. If you ain't got something to say, then don't say something. You ever been around somebody and they want you to say something and you just couldn't really think of nothing? Shut up. Oh, I said, is it okay to say shut up? I don't want to offend nobody. Hush. We'll do what grandma says. Say hush. Amen. Is that all right, mother? I can say hi. All right. Because somebody said, you can't say that because that's not nice. Okay. Hi. Huh? You ever been around folks that get to talking and you just think, hi. Is you still talking? You ain't finished yet. Shh. Why? Because the enemy knows that Proverbs 18 and 21, I'm going to quote scripture. 
Because I've been reading it 37 years. Ain't no need keeping it in here. It ain't doing me no good. I'm trying to help somebody. Amen. Proverbs 18 and 21 says, death and life are in the power. Woo! Did you feel that? The tongue is not just the tongue, but it's powerful. There's power in your tongue. Huh? When you get saved, you are no longer an old creature. Behold, you become a new creature and old things have passed away. And after that, which the Holy Ghost has come. Ah, good God Almighty. Go on and get my chair because I'm about to be down there. Somebody go and bring my chair, Jaden. Go get my chair. Put it right there. Yeah, yes, that's fine. That's fine. Here you go. Go bring me my chair. Go bring me my chair. I just need a chair because I'm fitting to come up out this here seat. Amen. I don't, I, I'm not a pulpit preacher. I'm active. I'm hype. I get stirred up, you know. I had a stroke 21 years ago and I could not walk. I was in a wheelchair, could not talk. God healed my body. Came on, come on, somebody. They've been through the massive cancer set a few years, but God healed my body. I'm still able to move. I done went through some things. Somebody said, I've been through the storm and the rain, but I made it. Huh? Had my leg broke when I was a little child, but I, I'm still able to walk across the floor on my own. Come on, somebody. I was born and didn't have a natural arch in my foot, and they wanted to break it when I went into the military, but I was able to jump like everybody else, so they said, leave his foot alone. See, I have been through some things. Come on, somebody. After you have suffered a little while. Hey, come on through here, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Then I can establish you. That's why you couldn't get it off the ground a couple years ago, Bishop. Because it just wouldn't time just yet. But when the time is right, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, I told you I quote scripture. Come on now. To everything, there's a time. Come on, somebody. And there's a season. Huh? Come on, somebody help the preacher up in here. I got one of those all right now. And you want me to look? Thank God we ain't got no musician in here now. I could, ah, boy, I like you. You come on anytime you want to. Though. That is a personal invitation from the HNIC himself. You welcome up in here anytime you want. I like your spirit. Amen. Listen, I'm trying to tell you. The word of God is telling us in this passage of scripture that we need to be mindful. We say certain things. I'm almost through. I'm, I'm, I'm almost done. I'm just, but you got to look at the word tame. The word tame is usually speaking of an animal. You don't hear tame when you talk about people. However, comma. Remember I told you that last week? That's my tag right there. I like that. How are they comma? Yeah, that's me right there. If you see anybody using it, they stole it. They thieves. Amen. That came from me first. Amen. Amen. But sometimes people act a little bit like animals, don't they? Amen. You don't believe people act like animals? Oh, well, I like animals. Can I call my witness for a second? Like now, it seemed to be about last year this time we was rolling around with some stuff going on with this here virus, you know. And I was in the other room and I was, wasn't expecting it, you know. That's how stuff catch you when you ain't expecting it. Right. Thank you for putting y'all's mask on. I know y'all good, but I appreciate it because y'all setting an example. Amen. But I want to let you know, I turned the television on and I saw folks climbing all over the cap over Tunda, running all down in the buildings and sliding like they was on home base. And big old guy sitting up on top of the woman's place with the daggone thing on his head. And I turned the TV off. Ask my chair. And I, I, I was like, wait a minute, I must have turned it on. You ever turn it on? I know it. That couldn't have been the six o'clock news. So I went to the other room, turned the other TV. Lord have mercy, these folks sitting up in here acting like animals. Sometimes people act like animals. Watch them dogs. Sometimes folks act like dogs. Come on, somebody. I ain't trying to talk about nobody. I'm just telling you what I know. And so we went on and we looked at the situation. Come on in, honey. And uh, we thank God. But it says that tame means that not dangerous or frightened of people domesticated. See, when you take, you ain't skirt. You like I said that thing. Yeah. I like this. You go, I love this girl. Oh my goodness, I don't know what it is. I ain't scared. See, God said the one thing that could not be tamed was this right here. You can tame anything. God said you can tame the beast of the field. You can tame the ox. You can tame the camel. 
You can tame the kangaroo, but you cannot tame the tongue. Huh? The birds of the air, the fowl of the air. You can tame the sparrow. Come on now. You can tame the eagle, but you cannot tame the tongue. This tongue, it says, is unruly. You mean even in the same folk? I'm going to be transparent. For the sake of the cross. And I ain't scared, ain't mad at you, don't care what you think about me. Because I told you, I got folks in my hands that I love. And they were right there, how you doing, Chicago? I love that lady. You know why I love Stephanie so much? I'm going to say it right on the book of faith. How y'all doing, you two? Because she loves my wife. Amen. 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 Something about the way she cares about my wife. Well. And my wife hasn't even had enough time to really get acquainted with her. Same thing with Paulette. I love me some Paulette. Because I come home one day, I didn't even know Paulette was there after we had that, lost that last child. And Paulette was sitting down on the bed. Now, I'm an emotional Negro. I cried the drop of a hat. So y'all just have to throw a tissue and keep it moving. Because I, 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 I don't talk about stuff that don't feel. I don't feel. Amen. And Paulette was just sitting in there at the bedside talking with my wife that brought her flowers. And it just, I was, I didn't even know she was coming. That's how people supposed to be. That's right. Amen. And you should have seen her strut through the house in her little night shirt today with them little letters on, girl. I said I should. I couldn't even get the picture fast enough because she had to change. But she was so happy in that little thing. She come out there, she did like this. I said, oh, snap. It's something about people loving you. When you done been up in places where you ain't been loved, when you been talked about, why they looking at you? Folks that got so good at what they do, they can talk trash about you while they looking right in your face. Yeah. When I come through, they used to stab you in the back. Now they come straight for your throat. They don't even cut it back. They right up in front of you. They, ah, they gangster. Folks don't care no more. But it says, so these definition is letting us know that our mouths, I'm almost through your mouth. My mouth, come on somebody. The preacher's mouth, uh-huh. Uh, the teacher's mouth, mm -hmm. it, it, it cannot be tamed. See, even the preacher got to watch his mouth. Sometimes the preacher can be in the house between the table and the corner. You ever got caught between the end table and the corner? Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. And sometimes you get caught between that table. <laughs> Somebody know what I'm talking about with the toe. Yes, your toe started throbbing. And you come around the corner too fast. And you catch that toe on the corner. Mm, if walls could talk and shoes could tell where you been. I bet you $100 bill you ain't say Jesus. He taught I will ta ta na 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 na. No, no. Not every time you don't. Not every time you don't. And if you do, then you need to give me your recipe because sometimes they slip out you. I'm just being real. I ain't trying to exploit gospel. I'm not trying to make Jesus look bad. And I'm not trying to say that preachers is rag. No, I'm just saying that sometimes we all human. And if you want to walk around here acting like you was dipped in oil and wrapped in swaddling clothes, then you go. I ain't fit to fool with you. You won't eat at my table. Tell your little sanctified devil. Now, that's how I feel about that. But I just want you to know today that you have to watch your mouth. You got to be careful what you say. Mm -hmm. You got to be careful how you say it. Mm -hmm. You got to be careful who you're saying it to. Come on, somebody. The preacher got to watch his mouth. Mm -hmm. The teacher got to watch their mouth. Mm -hmm. I don't care, Mr. High and Mighty Deacon. I'm on the deacon board. If you're deacon, sometimes deacon. Mm -hmm. You got to watch your mouth too. Your mouth ain't no better than my mouth. You got a tongue in your mouth too that need to be conquered. Wish I had some help. I can go on and get through. We go on and get some fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told you I was transparent. I'm a little bit hungry. Uh huh. But everybody got to watch their mouth, y'all. The butcher. Mm -hmm. The baker. Come on, somebody. And the candlestick.
little statement. God, gotta watch their mouth too. Cause sometimes our mouth can be logged on to www.hotness.com. Oh, I wish I heard a witness in here. I'm almost finished now. I just want you to understand you gotta watch your mouth. You gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself. The Bible says take heed when you stand and when you think you stand. Least ye fall. Sometimes, oftentimes, we don't realize without power to bridle, there is no chance of conquering your tongue. Oh, y'all ain't gonna say nothing to me. You can't conquer your tongue without power. Somebody said, Bishop, where I'm gonna get this power? Well, I'm glad you asked. The word of God says, into the book of Acts. After that which the Holy Ghost come, ye shall. Well, 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 well. I didn't say you might get it. I didn't say it was going to show up when it felt like it. It said shall. That means it's show enough. That means it's fitna. F I T N A. It's fitna happen. When you get the Holy Ghost, you're going to get some power. Some Holy Ghost power. Some power to talk right. I said some power to live right. You don't mind if I preach you a little bit, do you? I feel all right. my tongue today, how to be humble under the Holy Ghost, I dare you, here it go, I double dip chocolate chip dare you, every time your tongue say something wrong, you say I bind you tongue, in the name of Jesus, plead the blood over your tongue, because the blood it still reaches to the high mountain. It still flows to the lower valley. The blood that give me strength from day to day. It'll never Anybody know about the blood of Jesus? Do I have a witness today that know about the blood of Jesus? I'm talking about the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mary's little baby Jesus. Mary's little boy. James the half son of Zebedee. His half brother's name was Jesus. Something about that name, Jesus. It's the sweetest name I know. The late great Bishop Rance Allen will tell you something about that name. Something about that name. When you call on the name of Jesus, it'll get down on the inside. Somebody said it better than camel soup. Is I dare you to call on Jesus name. The next time you want to give somebody a piece of your mind, I'm kind of getting old now. Ain't got no pieces of my mind to be sparing to nobody. But I can give you some blood of Jesus. I can call on the name of Jesus. Did not the New Testament teach us and tell us that after that which the Holy Ghost come? You gon' get some power. That means you got power. That means me got power. That means I can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthened me. We all the saints. We used to sing a song without God. I can do nothing without God. Oh, come on. 
somebody like a sheep without my God but say somebody say when you talk about a ship for vision because there's a storm out and it's on the ocean and it's moving this way and if your soul not anchored in Jesus you sure Give me that bottle of water over there. Down in there by that chair. It's getting late in the evening. And the sun is almost down. I remember when my mother was a young lady. And I remember how she used to come out in the wintertime. She take the chainsaw. Aunt Jeanette, she swing it little chainsaw. I remember she cut down through the woods on her own. And she could sit there and cut down a tree by herself. Yes, Lord. I'm talking about my mother. All right, yes, Jesus. But the last couple times I went yes, down to see my mother, uh -huh. she ain't able to cut down through the woods no more. Right. She ain't moving like she used to move. Yes, this old building just keep on leaning. So that lets me know that we're getting old. And I'm here to tell you, time is winding up. You ain't in the new Jerusalem just yet but it's not going to be much longer I believe we're going to look up in the sky y'all and we're going to see the clouds is starting to move side to side and we're going to see that old angel come down from glory anybody excited about getting up out of here I might not get to see it in my lifetime but Jaden Alexander Nikolai Mateus Y'all need to be ready, because I'm trying to tell you soon, and very soon, we're going to see the king, y'all. We're living in the last days, y'all. I tell that my wife tell me all the time, we're living in the last days. The Bible says in the last days, perilous times going to come. Come on, Timothy. Can I call my witness? Then I'm going to go on and close out. Y'all don't mind if I call my witness. Yes. Lord have mercy. He said men gonna be lovers of themselves. In the last days, men ain't gonna find women attractive no more. Oh well. Ooh, there it is. I didn't write it. I just teach it. Women ain't gonna find men attractive no more. You read between them lines all you want. I'm in the book. I might as well let you know where I stand now. So you come over here and start putting tithes and offerings in this church. I want you to know where you stand right away. Because I ain't fit to preach nothing but the gospel. If you get mad at me, then you... Hey, then you. It is what it is. I can love you. I ain't got to love the mess you in. I can love the hell out of you. Some folks think you've been trying to preach it out of them, they ain't listening. Huh? You ever had somebody you just got to love them a little bit more? You said, Lord Jesus, if I love them in the heart, it's gonna hurt me. But you, you wanna slap them sometimes. Oh, I got the wrong church. Okay, we can go on home. Oh, I got the right. Oh, she's having the right. Church. You done done everything you can do. Why is it that the one that you do the most for? I'm going to talk to you because you told me go ahead. Amen. The one that you do the most for. The one that you get out the bed for in the morning when you ain't even rolled over yet. The one where you don't get to your bank account and you see how much is left in there and you take your last dollar. That's the one. Huh? The one that you used to cry about and pray for. Didn't even know you was praying for. They got the nerve to look you in your face and talk to you like you ain't worth the time to take a look at. And you said, I got a love of God. Sometimes you got to love the hell. You got it. I 
rather love it out of you than you keep it in you because the devil is coming for those that got hell on the inside. Your Holy Ghost is going to identify with God and they hell is going to identify with Satan. There's two captains that's coming, somebody. Hey, glory. One captain is looking for the hell folks and it's going to tell you on down where you're supposed to go. But I got a captain named Jesus and he coming back and he looking for some folk. This got Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change. I might not look like you look. You might not act like I act. But as long as you got Jesus on the inside, keep on keeping on. Let them run their mouth all they want. Let them talk all they want. Give them something to talk about. That's free advertisement. See, the reason you're going to be better, the reason you're going to be stronger, is because they run in their mouth. And the more they talk, they don't realize they just put your name up there. See, God looking after you double time because he keeps hearing your name all the time. They think they're running your name in the ground, but what they're really doing is giving God more angels to send them out. Uh, I see it. It's all right. Because when God gets through with you, that same Holy Ghost, God said, you got double trouble, triple. You double dipped and triple flipped in Jesus' name. You think mama something, you wait till God get through with you. Give me one of them prayer cloths and give it to that guy. Give one of them prayer cloths and give them to God. Because all I heard God say is, he saw the best in me. When everyone else around me could only see the worst in me, mm -hmm. he saw the best in me. You gonna make me cry, Lord. It's good though, cause folks think I wear makeup, you know. So now they can know he gonna have. When everyone else around me can only see the worst in me. Mm -hmm. He is mine And I am his Come on, this is the part I like It doesn't matter what I did He only sees me for who I am Oh, he saw the best in me Go hug your mama I don't know what God gonna do But just go hug that mama Hallelujah Come on, somebody, watch your mouth. Check yourself. While you trying to look at what I'm doing, while you worry about what I'm doing. And my cousin Mary Cooper was living. And my cousin Sissy was living. She would tell you, so many people talk about me. <laughs> but really, I don't mind. They don't sing them songs no more. They try to block and stop my progress. Most of the time, the mean things you said can't make me feel bad. How can I miss a friend that I never had? I got Jesus, but Jesus, and that's enough. Come on now. I got Jesus, that's enough. I got Jesus, that's enough. He's my all in all. Oh, when friends put me down and my Jesus picks me up, he sticks by me when my going gets tough. I got Jesus. Come on, somebody. Jesus, and that's enough. Anybody know you got Jesus and that's enough? Amen. Amen. We're going to have prayer right now. I got some cloths together. Stop the shenanigans and foolery. You got to learn. And I love you. Because if you with me, you be ducking the hymnal. Uh, you already know. She cut her, she about to crack the rib laugh. <laughs> you be like my mama threw a hymnal at me. <laughs> you better catch <laughs> When you in God's house, respect it, amen. They love them, they love them, they they got mercy. Amen. Amen. Gonna preach one day. That's why them two is here. They stick up under me all the time. They just like each other. They eye, they apple, they peas and carrots, them two. That's the original baby boy. 
And then that's the, that's the baby, baby boy. And then there's another baby boy coming. He four months in there. Yes. I, I think I'm through after this, Lord have mercy. Come here, daughter. Come here. Jesus' name, catch that. That's your prayer time right there. God said there is no fumble in him. And there is no failure in you. Stop being so hard on yourself. Stop being so hard on yourself. Stop being so hard on yourself. Your faithfulness matters most in this season. Just keep being faithful. Just keep being faithful. Amen. Because he or she that is faithful over few. See, they, 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 they can't stand where you are now because they think she thinks, she, no, I don't think I'm nothing. I know what I am. I'm just assured. You're not arrogant. You're assured. You're not high maintenance. You're high quality. There's a difference. If I got the wrong person, I'll go on and close out. But I do believe I hear God telling me, you go on and stay where you are. You do what you're doing. As long as God is pleased. What you say, preacher? That's all that what? That's all they can. Half them folks that ain't pleased with you, they ain't got no heaven. They ain't got no hell. Somebody give her some Kleenex. Get her some tissue, please. Get her some tissue. Hand me that box there. This ain't no ordinary worship. This ain't no ordinary church. Because I ain't no ordinary preacher. I, God called me out of ordinary churches. Called me away from Baptist church, Methodist church, Episcopalian, Unitarian, United Methodist, Lutheran, Seven Day Adventist. I even been in the Kingdom Hall. Even went over there to the mosque before. They've been through all them different kinds of things. And all of them brought me right back to where I started. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. So when you find folks that's out there, don't be so quick to run. Let them go. They learn. There ain't no better journey for no man to go on than a soul-seeking journey and find out who his God is. Come on out there. Because eventually, you're going to look up at the heaven and you're going to see that cloud slide by. And somewhere in your brain, something's going to tell you ain't nobody pulling it on the rope. You won't get in a situation that can't nobody get you out. You're going to say Allah and you ain't going to hear nothing. Huh? Oh, God. You're going to say Buddha and ain't nobody going to say Baba. But one day you're going to say Jesus. <laughs> Something going to come Something going to happen. Because it's power in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, honey. That's the kind of church we got. Amen. We thank God for you. If ain't nobody else told you before, we say it first. We love you. God loves you. And so do I.